Hello everyone, this is Mr. Creeps, and today welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm showing you how to create um, an auto, an automatically enchanting weapon, so let's get right into this. Or actually it's going to be an item, but in this case it's going to be a weapon, so let's get right into this. So first what we're going to do is create our weapon. So I already actually have an item here, but I'm going to be um, deleting the, I um, the item just for this tutorial for now. And I'm creating a brand new tool called the Fire Sword. And here I can select my horrible texture, and we can really keep anything the same here. We can even make it an item if we want to, as I said, but um, I'm going to be making a sword in this tutorial, so yeah, everything we can keep the same, but what we have to actually do, well, what you have to do now is actually make the procedure, so I'm going to show you how to make that. And the procedure is probably the most important thing, so I'm just going to be making this, uh, the fire sword tick procedure, it doesn't really matter what it's called here. And I'm going to flow control, getting the if do statement block right there. I'm going to go to the item procedures and then get the get nvt logic tag tag name of provided item stack here and then also go to logic get the true block right there and then go to logic and also getting the blue equals block that matches the same color blue as the um, as the get nvt logic tag or also the very, uh, or also just the very first one on here. So yeah, so we're gonna be dragging in our values um, just like this, and we'll just be naming this whatever we want to. I'm just calling this Fire Sword Enchanted because this right here is um, going to be our NBT tag that's actually going to make it so that it will not automatically duplicate, as well as we cannot get infinite experience with a grindstone. Because if we make it um, so that it is testing if there's the enchantment already on it, and we use a grindstone, we can get infinite XP that way. And that could break the mod, so yeah. So we have this set up right here, and then we're going go to go to um, item procedures, and then get the set NBT logic tag, tag name of provided item stack to true. What we're going to do is we're actually going to copy the um, logic NBT tag name for the first one, and we'll just be pasting it, just like that. And then also we'll be setting the true in the first one to false, so it only does it once. So yeah, now what I'm going to be doing is going to item procedures, and then enchant, um, and then en add enchantment with level, I guess I'll just make this two for this tutorial, type fire aspect. So... If I can get my fire aspect right there, all I have to do now is to save is save the mod element, get the fire sword or the item that we have on here, and the when tool in inventory tick, we'll just select that one, and also I'll just delete this one just for now so the game doesn't mess up anything. And now it should work in game. So here we are in game, and uh, if we get uh, our brand new item right here, the fire sword, if we put it in our inventory, as you can see here, it will actually only enchant once, and also automatically enchant with fire aspect too. So that is how you do that, and also if we get the grindstone, we can make it so that we do not have, so the way that we did it is we cannot have infinite XP. We place it right here, as you can see there, it does not um, enchant again, so it only enchants once. So yeah, that is how to make an automatically enchanted weapon. I want to thank, um... Memory XTK, I'm pretty sure that was your name for suggesting this idea. Um, if you have a suggestion for another tutorial I should make, just leave it in the comment section down below in this video. Also, I want to thank you so much for helping me reach 400 subscribers. I know it is a bit delayed, but um, I just want to thank you so much for that. So, yeah, see you guys next time. Goodbye, guys.